In Wisconsin, employment is at historic highs and unemployment is at historic lows. We invested more actual dollars into schools than ever before in our history. The state property tax is gone. Wisconsin received a bond rating upgrade from three national agencies. Our health care systems are ranked number one in the nation for quality. And we announced the largest economic development project in state history. It has been an amazing year, a historic year. Big goals and big promises from Governor Scott Walker as he gives his state of the state speech. The governor taking credit for the state's historic low unemployment rate and the multi-billion dollar blockbuster deal, Foxconn. Walker also hit on a number of themes like health care and welfare reform. Today I'm proud to declare that the state of our state, well, it's historically strong. The state of the state gives the governor a chance to grade himself on how well he thinks the state is performing. Governor Walker wasted no time in talking up the state's road to recovery since he first took office. Eight years ago, in January of 2010, the unemployment rate was 9.2 percent. Today, the unemployment rate is down to 3 percent. That is well below the national rate of 4.1 percent. And as I mentioned before, it is tied for the lowest unemployment rate in the history of Wisconsin. Wisconsin operates on a two year budget, so most of the heavy lifting on big issues like transportation and education were already determined last year. Today, we made the largest investment of actual dollars into K through 12 education in history, an increase of $200 for every student in every school in every part of the state this year and another $204 increase on top of that next year. Another goal of the State of the State speech is to lay out a roadmap for things to come, especially as Walker seeks a third term in this election year. Some of Walker's 2018 priorities will play to Democrats, like insurance coverage guarantees for people with pre-existing conditions, plus tougher state welfare program requirements to appeal to conservatives. We want able-bodied working age adults to work at least 30 hours a week or to enroll in job training to get assistance in our state. We want to expand welfare reform statewide and we want to ensure that everyone getting public assistance can pass a drug test. So those are some of the things the governor has said. We want to take you now live inside the state capitol where the governor continues to give his state of the state speech. As you can see, this has been going on now for just under an hour. And so we're going to continue to monitor what the governor has to say. But Democrats also weighing in on this. This is Governor Walker's eighth state of the state speech. And Democrats are hoping eight is enough. So far, 18 Democrats have lined up to unseat Walker this year. The Democratic Party blasted Walker's record in office saying, quote, Governor Scott Walker has spent seven plus years giving away our taxpayer resources to billionaires, Foxconn, and his presidential campaign donors. Now he is lurching all over the political landscape in a political cover up to buy votes. That is from the Democratic Party chair, Martha Lanning. We are going to have complete coverage of Governor Walker's State of the State speech on our website, tmj4.com. And in a few minutes, our PolitiFact Wisconsin expert joins us to talk and take a closer look at some of the key issues.